but we're going to switch over to that news conference. We think it's underway. Let's listen in here. Um, we've, for the most part, closed up the crime scene area uh, in terms of all of our criminalistic activities there. Uh, we have one thing left to do as it relates to the, the initial crime scene, and that's to canvas the area. So somebody was asking about the, the officers that are going around uh, door knocking, et cetera, and what they're doing is they're actually canvassing, uh, looking for additional witnesses to see if there's any information that they have, any suspects that they've seen, and then try and correlate all of that information with the information that we have uh, as of right now. Someone had asked for the ages of the, the victims that were at the hospital. One is uh, 38 years of age, and the other is uh, 53 years of age. So any other questions? I cannot. Sorry? He's still a person of, what? Well, first of all, whenever we detain anybody, whether we call them a person of interest or a suspect or a suspect, and we are interested in their activities, uh, what he was doing, uh, that type of information. We're we'll looking to get to his criminal activities, if he had any criminal activities in the past. What was the shooting caught on tape? Was the shooting caught on tape? I, I don't believe the actual shooting was caught on tape. We do have uh, tapes that, that our detectives have looked at. Um, it's not the best quality video, uh, but there's we're, there are different angles that we're, we're trying to look at to see if there's a way that we can specifically identify the suspect. Any closer to a motive, finding a motive with this? No, uh, as, not as of right now we don't. There's, it's, uh, it's unknown what the reason is. Have you found a gun? Uh, we do not have, uh, we have not located a weapon. What is why you're not happy with me? You said you're trying to talk to the person detained, so, he's not, not responding? No, I'm sorry, it's not that he's not responding, it's we're having conversations with the person. We, we've heard that this, this person has an extensive criminal background, is this true? And if so, do you have any indication of what other crimes? Uh, I don't have that information, whether he has, how extensive his, uh, his rap sheet is. Commander, uh, there was an operation that went into effect immediately, protecting other Jewish uh, facilities around town. Has that been stood down at this point, or is it still ongoing? Uh, well, there's a, we still have a consistent vigilance. Whenever we have an incident like this at a synagogue or a religious institution, specifically the odd nature of this one, the time of day, uh, how it occurred, and uh, it appeared to be initially that it was very targeted and specific, we want to make sure that we're very vigilant. We get the information out to all the synagogues, and so that's what we did, and we ended up contacting our network of uh, uh, leaders within the, the Jewish community so that they can take precautions as well. But if the motive becomes something besides, say, robbery or a deranged individual, will, that, will you stand down that operation? Uh, as soon as we have any other additional information, we will. We'll is provide there, is that. Is there a search for another suspect at this point? No, there is no search, and that's what I was going to brief you on. We are, uh, the tactical uh, aspect of this operation is concluded. We're concluding. There's no additional searches that we're doing for suspects. We don't have any other any information that a suspect is within the contained perimeter. What can you tell us about the surveillance video? Uh, I can tell you that it, that uh, we were able to see uh, the suspect. We were able to see the uh, victim. Um, but again, the, the quality of the video was such that we weren't able to specifically identify or get a clear picture of the suspect as of right now. How closely does the person on video resemble the person that you're talking to? I, again, the, I, don't, I can't answer that question I don't, because I don't know. And I don't know that the, the quality of the video, again, relative to looking at the suspect, whether we can specifically say that's him. If the video was such quality, we'd be able to say that. When you say this appeared at first glance to be targeted and specific, what did you mean? And you mentioned time of day. Well, you, well, you look at the, the time of day, it occurred about 6.19 in the morning. It was before the services, right? Is that correct, the correct. It was in, uh, it occurred in the, uh, the garage area, the training garage area. So that's another, the fact that that's an oddity in terms of the shooting, uh, the, of the type of shooting that you get. And the way it appears is that he went from one person and he followed and went to another person. So that's the specificity of the target. Um, he's 17, I believe. Does that fit the description of the witness in a very young manner? The, the person we have in custody loosely matches the description, yes. Do you expect an arrest today? I do not. Uh, I can't give you that information because I haven't talked to but the detectives to identify if we have enough probable cause to make an arrest. We do have enough reasonable suspicion to make a detention, which is what we have Does the uh, video actually capture the shooting? 
I, I did not see that. I don't know that it does. Do you think they know they targeted? Do you think they were actually targeted or it just two people that happened to be there? I can't say that they were, these two individual people were specifically targeted as if it was premeditated and we're going to look for this particular person. I can't say that this, these individuals were there at the location, being at that location at that time by the actions of the suspect, they were specifically targeted. Do you know the garage, the cure? Do you have to have, like, a remote control or a phone to get into it? I don't know. Do you know what, how many people were actually in the synagogue? Um, like, how many people had to be cleared out of there? I don't have a number of how many. We did have to clear some uh, folks from, from the synagogue. And anything else went on there? Like, the Not that we're aware of. And, again, we're still going to be part of the investigation where we uh, try and identify who else was in the synagogue, uh, what other activities other than business activities and the actual religious service are occurring, if any. You know where the synagogue is finally open? I mean, once you get the street open, I understand. Uh, you know what? I have not had a conversation with this, so I don't think. I don't know uh, what the, 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 the responses have been from the from the, the, the victim to the suspect, right? I can't say the answer to that. Commander, what kind of gun and how many shots fired? I don't recall specifically the number of shots that were fired. We have you know, different information coming from the actual um, uh, victim. Semi-automatic uh, revolver? I don't know. Or is they at least multiple shots or one shot and two? Well, I, I believe that uh, two people were hit, so I think that qualifies as Well, multiple. I mean, multiple shots per each person. That might be mistaken. Yeah, they're in stable condition. And, and, yeah, they're in stable Hey, thanks. Uh, oh, let me give you that. We're, we're going to be opening up the, this street. 